everyone, I'm Dr. Esther Chua, a breast surgeon, and I'm here today to share with you the top five concerns that women like yourselves may have with regards to breast cancer surgery. On top of the list is mastectomy or lumpectomy. Now, mastectomy involves the removal of the entire breast, even though there is only one area that's involved by the cancer. Lumpectomy only removes the cancerous portion of the breast, importantly with a rim of healthy tissues, what is known as the healthy cancer-free margin, and follow up with radiotherapy to the whole breast to avoid future cancer recurrences. Now, your doctor may have recommended either of these options based on your medical suitability. So what are the issues that your doctors might be concerned about before recommending? One, the size of the cancer, which is very important. The size of the cancer relative to your breast volume. A two centimeter cancer, it's very different in a cup A breast versus in a cup double D breast. So the larger the cancer is, the less suitable you are for a straightforward lumpectomy surgery. The second issue that the doctors are usually concerned about will be the type of cancer. Some types of cancers are very aggressive and they creep along the breast ducts to cause extensive um, disease that is far beyond what imaging like mammogram or ultrasound can predict or even an MRI. So for those instances with aggressive extensive disease or cancers that involve multiple locations in a breast, your doctor might prefer that for your own safety, a mastectomy should be done. And thirdly, we may recommend a mastectomy or lumpectomy depending on the location of the cancer. Some cancers occur in cosmetically sensitive locations like the nipple. And by removing a large area of the nipple and the area behind the nipple, it might deform the appearance of the breast and therefore it makes lumpectomy less desirable. Finally, the ease of follow-up. Some women may have very, very dense breasts on mammogram and they also have multiple lumps and extensive calcium deposits. So even after a successful lumpectomy that has been done to remove the cancer, future follow-up in terms of mammogram and surveillance may be quite a nerve-wracking experience. So these women might find that it's less burdensome and, and find that they may have a greater peace of mind if they were to remove the entire breast. Between mastectomy and lumpectomy, there is a third option known as the oncoplastic breast surgery. Oncoplastic breast surgery uses plastic surgical techniques in order to allow larger excisions of cancerous areas and reconstructing the defect at the same time. This method has been very useful for some women who were originally deemed to be suitable only for mastectomy. By using oncoplastic breast surgery, lumpectomies can be done in a better way.